So good morning everybody, welcome for our lesson today. We are continuing with the people and population. And last time we looked at the Bantu, the original homeland, the main economic activity. So we are going to look at uh, the Nilots. We are going to look at the origin of the Nilots. And uh, especially I said we are starting with the Kenya. The next time we shall move to Eastern Africa. Then the following we shall look at uh, uh, Africa as general. So that's what we are talking about. So in Kenya, uh, original homeland, we shall start with that. Original homeland. Original homeland of the Nilots. They came from a place called uh, Baal El Ghazal in South, South Sudan. So the original homeland of the Bantu is Southern Sudan at a place called Bal El Ghazal. So that's what you're talking about. That is where they originated from. Uh, and then, also we are saying that uh, main economic activity, main, they were pastoralists. Pastoralists or livestock keepers. Livestock keepers. So these people, they kept li uh, livestock. And when we talk about livestock, and then we are looking at animals like sheep, goats, and then a uh, cow. Those are what you call livestock. So the main economic activity of those people, they were livestock keepers. So the main reason for migration of these people, they were looking for pasture and water for the animals. They were looking for pasture and water for the animals. These are now the key points you should understand. The other, economy, the other, may, the other reasons for migration uh, can be we have drought. Drought is long period without rain, so it made them to move because there was no enough rainfall for their grass to grow. So they had to move to look for where they can graze the animals. So drought. Then we have diseases. Uh, diseases also make, made these people to migrate. There are other areas from the original homeland. Uh, the other name of the disease, we can call it uh, uh, epidemics. So epidemics, epidemics, same as diseases. Then we have uh, attack by the neighbors. So attack by the neighbors also made these people to migrate. Then we have internal, uh, we have what we call internal conflict. Internal conflict, it means clan conflict, can be clan, talk about family. So these people also, they had issues in their families and the clan, it made them to migrate to the other areas where they can settle well with their, uh, uh, their children and so on. So that's about the Nilots. Now, let us look at the example of the Nilots in uh, Kenya. Uh, so Nilots in Kenya are divided into two groups, or three, sorry, three. So we have uh, plain Nilots, plain, then we have uh, River Lake, River Lake Nilots, then we have what we call the Highland, Highland Nilots. So the Highland Nilots, Highland Nilots of Kenya are collectively called the Kalenjins. The Kalenjins. So these are the division. So we shall start with the Plain Nilots. Plain Nilots, uh, a good example we have uh, Maasai. Uh, Maasai. Then we have Sambur. Samburu. Trukana, then we have uh, gems, gems, gems are also called ilchamas, 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 and then we have also what you call the teso, 
So these are the plain islands in Kenya. So we have Masai, Samburu, Trukana, James, or Ilchamas, then we have the Iteso. So you can have a, a formula here, uh, we call it means. Means, means this one stands for Masai, this one stands for uh, Iteso. So this one is called Iteso, or you can say Iteso. No problem. Then this one stands for the gems. This one stands for Trukana. Then this one stands for Samburu. So this uh, formula means like that. You can get those communities. Then River Lake Nilos, we have only one community in Kenya. That's the Luo. They are found on the shores of Lake Victoria. Uh, originally, their main economic activity was just pastoralism, the same before the uh, during their migration. But nowadays, some of them, they have turned to fishing activities and so on. So they are found along the lakes. So when you go to lay around Lake Victoria, you'll find the Luo are there. So this is the only community that form River Lake Nilos in Kenya. Then they entered into groups in Kenya. Uh, they entered in three groups, Joka, Jok, uh, Joka, Owingi, then we have what we call Joka Omolo. So they ended in the groups of three. So Luo, they ended in the groups of three. That's Joka Choko, group number one. Number two, we had Joka Owingi. Then we have Joka Omolo. So that is about the Nilots. Then we have um, the Highland Nilots. We call them the Kalenjins as one name. So number one, we have what you call uh, Tugen. Tugen, they are found in Baringo County. Then we have, um, we have also what you call Keio. Maraquet, Maraquet are found in El Keio, Maraquet County. Maraquet. Uh, then we have uh, Sabaot. Then we have Pokot. Then we have um, Kipsikis. Kipsikis. So these one are found in West Pokot County. Then we have Kipsikis. Some of them are found in Kericho County. You'll find them. So we have Tugen, Keio, Maraguet, Sabaot, Pokot. And then we have uh, uh, the Kipsikis. Then lastly, we have the Nandi. So these are Highline Islands. They are collectively called uh, the Kalenjins. So those are the Nilo Highline Islands of Kenya. So this topic is very crucial. In exam, whether KCP or any exam, these people and the population, you must master it. It should just be at your fingertips. It's very important. That's what you're talking about. Then, um, so, or maybe briefly, So, when the River Lake Nilos arrived, uh, came, uh, uh, left, uh, that is uh, South Sudan, they came and settled in southern Uganda at a place called Papungu, Papungu, uh, Pakwach. So, Papungu, Pakwach is associated with the River Lake Nilos. So, the people migrated from South Sudan, they came to southern Tanda, uh, Uganda, they settled at a place called Papungu Pakwachi. Remember the Bantu, we say they settled around uh, Shungwaya. But this one we are talking about Papungu Pakwachi, that is uh, a river lake, Nilots. Then with the Highland Nilots of Kenya, when they migrated from uh, uh, South Sudan, they settled around the area of Mount Elgon region. Mount Elgon. Then from there, they started dispersing to where they are right now. So that is the river lake Nilots or not River Lake, but the Highland Islands. Highland Islands, they settled around the Mount Elgon region. Then they started dispersing to areas where they are right now. So I think that's all about the Nilots. We want to look at the Kushites of Kenya. So we have what we call the... We have Kushites. 
Kushites, Kushites are divided into two groups. We have what we call Southern Kushites, Southern, and then we have also what we call the Eastern Kushites, Eastern Kushite. So Southern Kushite, Eastern Kushite, sorry, Eastern Kushite we have Somali, Somali, not Somalia. Somalia is a country, Somalia is a community. So we have Somali. Then we have what we call the Boran. Then we have what we call Rendil. We have what we call the Burj. Then we have the Gala. Another name of Gala is Oromo. So Gala is also called Oromo. Then we have also uh, Orma. Then we have what we call the Gabra. So these are uh, communities that forms what we call uh, the Eastern uh, Kushites of Kenya. So uh, that it is Southern Kushite. There are only two communities. Southern, we have what we call the Halo. The Halo. Then we have what we call the Sanye. These are the communities that form what we call the southern Kushites of Kenya, the Halo and the Sanye. So that it is. Now, um, original homeland of the south of the Kushites was southern southern Ethiopia. So Kushites originated from southern Ethiopia, or we can stroke it with the Horn of Africa. And when you talk about the Horn of Africa, we are looking at uh, the map of Eastern Africa. When you look at Eastern Africa, Somalia, this point is what you call the Horn of Africa here, Horn of Africa. Because it seemed to be like a horn, that's what you call the Horn of Africa. So the Kushites originated from southern Ethiopia. They migrated through the Horn of Africa here. Then they entered into Kenya, like that. So the original homeland of the Kushites, we are talking about Horn of Africa or southern Ethiopia. So that's where they migrated from. Then um, uh, main economic activity, main economic activity is pastoralism. Pastoralism meaning uh, livestock keeping or livestock Keeping. So before the coming of the European or pre-colonial time or during migration of these communities, the main economic activity of these people, they were livestock keepers. And up to date, they still keep their camel. We have uh, donkey, we have sheep, goats, and so on. You'll find these people, they still practice that. So that's what you're talking about. Then also we are saying that the main reason for migration now from Southern Ethiopia they were looking for pasture. They were looking for pasture and water for the animals. So these people are looking for pasture and water for the animals. That's what you're talking about. So that's the main reason for migration. I'm insisting the issue of main reason because these are the most tested areas. So remember that. Then uh, the other reasons, we have also other reasons for migration. Other reasons can be diseases. They are just almost the same diseases or epidemics. Diseases or epidemics. So that is uh, made also these people to migrate because the diseases was a threat to them. Then we have drought. Drought. Drought cause the dry of grass and dry of water sources. And we have said originally these people are farmers. They migrate with the animals from one place to another looking for water. So this one made also them to move, to look where there is enough water for the animals. Then we have also uh, conflict. Conflict or internal conflict can be from within the family, internal, or of within their clans also made them to move, to look where they can settle well. So that is uh, internal conflict. Then we have also, uh, we have what we call spirit 
of adventure. This is the least reason for migration. List. So spirit, when we talk about list, and then we are talking about the smallest. So the least reason for migration or the smallest reason is spirit of adventure. Spirit of adventure means they wanted to go somewhere new and then they look at those places, they see what is there, they learn more, they explore those areas. That's what you call the spirit of adventure. So that one also was some of the reason why they migrated uh, like that. So uh, like that, then we can say also maybe of a population because the population was high also, they was need to move to look for good places where they can settle with their families. Another language group, we call it uh, the Semites. And when you talk about the Semites, then we are looking at people like Arabs. And then also we are talking about the people like the Nubi Nubians. And then we have the Jews. So these are some of the Semites which are, who live in Kenya. The original homeland of the Semites is South, South Arabia. South Arabia. So this is the original homeland of these people. They came from those areas. The main reason for coming of the Semites, they, they came to trade. So they were mainly traders. They are traders, so they were looking for trading items uh, along the coastal areas and even in Kenya as a whole. That's what you're talking about. Then uh, we're also saying that uh, we have given some of the communities that form this. So that is, uh, we have the Arabs, the Nubians, and then we have the Jews. So those are uh, examples of the uh, Semites. So you'll find them. So and then we have also what we call the Europeans, also who live in Kenya, Europeans. And when you talk about Europeans, they came from Europe. Europe is a continent just on North of Africa, Europe. So European, then we are talking about the German, uh, the Germans. We have also people from the Italy or Italians. Then we have um, Britain or British, British. Then we have also, we have the Belgian from Belgium, Belgian. We have also the Portuguese. Portuguese. Talk about people like Vastoka da Kama. They were Portuguese from Pochoco. So these are some of the Europeans or European countries. Those people also settled in Kenya and so on. I think that's all we have. We will have summarized on people and population in Kenya. So next time we shall look at what we call um, people of Eastern Africa. We shall also talk about the people. Though we shall not talk more about Kenya, but we shall look at Eastern Africa, the other countries, and so on. Thank you.